So, I've been a very good girl. I haven't bought any art supplies. I haven't done an art haul video in 14 whole months over a year. But um, January sales and saved up money led to me being a very, very, very bad girl. So let's get on with the unboxing. So let's just see how bad I've actually been. Okay, so I'm going to start with the OD unbox items because they were in with another items that weren't art related. But these are from Amazon. And the first thing is this Karataki Ganzai Tambi set. Um, I've only got a couple of these, but I just saw this set on somebody's YouTube somewhere. And it's the Art Nouveau set or it's also called the muted colors set um so i will be doing a separate video entirely on this um because why not so that's one item then the other thing i got is this benzeal design and it is the pastel pencils because i love my pastel pencils i've <laughs> discovered over the last couple of years um, it, I believe it's the full set of them. They don't do a large set. I think it's 48. Um, and they come in this fantastic little, you know, already pre-made drawer set. So it's fantastic for storage. It just sits on my shelf as it is. And they're not going to roll around because obviously they've got this foam in there that's going to stop them from rolling around. So, yeah. I'm not dwelling too much on showing you everything absolutely every detail because there's a lot of stuff and um, I am going to do individual videos again this is another individual I'm going to do so it's a lot of spoilers of what I'm going to be filming throughout the year and in, in swatching out and testing out and all sorts so a lot of spoilers um, so that was Amazon um, let's do London Graphic Center next um, these all had sales, um, crazy sales. Um, the craziest sale was Cassar, but I'll get to that in a moment. So, London Graphic Centre. Got a few bits from there. And a very, very luxury item. Just throw things on the floor. So, big red thing. I'll start with the two smaller items. So, got a set of these. I've never used these before. These Neo Color 2 Aquarels. These are the ones that you can mix with water, I believe. Um, there is a Neo Color 1, I think, which are purely like wax crayons, like Crayola crayons, but I'm guessing they're better quality from Crayon Dash, of course. Um, and this is like, I re really wanted to get this set because it's a really cool tone with blues and greens, and I love my blues and greens greens more than anything so I just wanted to try this little set because I've never tried them but I've seen them in videos and I've seen people do some wonderful things with them so I thought I'd give them a go then the next thing I got is I've been numbing and hour about getting this anyway because it's like 45 pounds normally and I'm like for a set of 24 pencils when I'm not a huge pencil crayon person but I saw this on sale and I was just like, okay, now's the chance to get it because it was only £20, so it was a big discount. Um, and it is the Derwent draw Drawing, and apparently these are, um, a again, a muted colour selection, like the um, Karataki Art Nouveau. Um, and it's supposed to help you draw nature and things, but when I was looking uh, at them, I'm like, a lot of these colours will go really well for architecture in terms of stones and bricks and things. Um, and apparently they're very soft and creamy. So, again, it's hopefully going to be a nice pencil to work with because I'm not a colour pencil person. <laughs> but I've got some colour pencils. Work that one out. Um, so, again, I will do a separate video on those. Um, nah. 
what's in the box? What's in the red box? Can you possibly guess what brand it is? I don't know. It's very matchy-matchy. Um, this is a very luxurious item. Um, I've been struggling trying to sharpen my pastel pencils. So I bought a sharpener. Not just any sharpener. This beautiful... Oh, it's limited edition. Didn't realise it was limited edition, but it's this green colour. It's... Greens and coppers are my favourite. It comes in this very nice Caran d'Ache tin. Which I will be reusing for something or other. Um, now, I know this was something like £200 to buy from scratch. But on London Graphic Centre, they knocked it down to 100 in. 20 I think um, so there was a massive discount and even then I was like really just for a sharpener but I've tr but I tried one of these in a store and I actually took one of the pan pastel pencils off the shelf and said I'm going to buy the pencil but can I please just try it in the sharpener to see how well it sharpens and my god it does because it's like um, how can I explain it it's like when you're cutting your nails when you cut your nails you use clippers some sort of blade right now, I was trying to do that with a blade, um, with pastel pencils, but it really frightens me. Um, it just, it just, it's the texture as well. I've got grating along the wood. It just, it gets to me a little bit. Um, and then obviously all sharpeners have blades, but this does not have a blade. It's, it grinds, it files down. So when you're doing your nails after you've cut them you use a file to shapen them to make them nice and soft and wonderful this is what this does to pencils especially pastel pencils so i'm very excited for this because it's going to make me using my pastel pencils much much easier so i'm i know it was a total luxury item and very expensive just for a pencil sharpener but it was very much needed and it's the only thing i knew that worked and it's this beautiful, 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 oh, collector's edition, green, which, I mean, when you put it next to my desktop, matches beautifully. So I just had to get it. I had to. I just, I couldn't leave that, especially with it being on sale as well. I know I'm a sucker. I didn't know it come in this tin, though. That would have made me buy it a bit quicker, I think. <laughs> I'm a sucker for packaging. Um, it comes with this um, clamp as well, so you can clamp it to the edge of your desk um, so it doesn't move. But it's quite a weighty thing anyway, so we'll see how we get on with that. Um, let me know in the comments below if you do want me to do a separate video on this. I mean, to me, it's a pencil sharpener and it won't be like a very long video. But I don't know, maybe I'll discover something different or if you guys just want to see it actually working and see the difference it makes compared to uh, a normal sharpener. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments below if you do want me to do a separate video on this. Do, do, do. Right. Uh, let's do Jackson's. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson's. Now there's a lot of stuff in here that I needed to buy to replace what I've already used and some new things as well. So first up, I bought myself some Blackwing 602. Um, I've had a couple of Blackwings in art boxes, scroller in art snacks in the past, and I quite like the weight of them in them with the rubber on the end. It, it just feels nice. But I needed to get a... The reason why I went with the 602s is because I wanted a firm um, lead because I write so much neater and better in pencil than I do any pen or fountain pen. So I decided to go with a firm one. They didn't have the extra firm ones, which is what I would have preferred. But these ones were the ones they had and they were on sale. So of course I had to buy them. These are the gray sort of painted ones that say, if it, oh, will it show, will it zoom? Is it showing? What about the side camera? Okay. So on the side it says half the pressure, twice the speed, and then obviously the eraser on the end, unsharpened. Got a nice new sharpener to sharpen them up with. <laughs> but I'll probably just do them as I need them. 
so that's the first item then we've got some oh yeah these are my replacements because i've used them up of my holbein acrylic wash because i've been using it quite a bit lately and i've got a project coming up for easter that i needed the colors definitely for so i've had to reorder some so we've got this metallic green which i've not tried so that's a new one but then i've replaced my mint green my cream yellow put them to the side as well da, 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 da. Then a pale lime, pale lavender, and a pale pink. You'll notice there's a theme <laughs> with these. <laughs> uh. Then pale peach, ivory white, and pale mint. So, as you can tell, all of them apart from that one <laughs> are very pale easter spring colors so there's a video coming up with these as well as replacing my colors um so yeah uh let's do what's in here oh oh i know what this is i know i know this is something new to me and this is the holbein acrylic inks um this is the super opaque white um i just wanted to get one to see what they're like you can use this in markers airbrushing pens or brush so i'm going to give this a whirl and see exactly how opaque it is because i want to do a lot of sort of technical drawings but with a dip pen um and i needed and i wanted to do it on black paper so i wanted a really opaque white so this is why i've got this so we'll give that a go something i've never tried so yep yeah. again let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a separate video for it and i will try and do it so in the box what we got what we got oh yes 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 these are new um to jackson's um these are well the, the, the color palette is new but not the actual product so these are the sminky super granulation and this is the urban set um so we've got an urban yellow urban red urban green urban brown and urban gray i do really like their granulation sets um so i was super excited to try this urban set which is supposed to be for city life and buildings which is what i do so give that a good go um i will be doing a separate video on this so many videos coming up um and then we've got some pencils well what kind of pencils okay so i've got six did i get six yes i got six so I've got six Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. Du, 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 du. I got the Mars Violet, the Slate Grey, the Light Melakite Green, Grey Blue, uh, Burnt Orca 10% and the Dark English Green. Now you've heard me say it in this video already but i'm not a pencil crayon artist of any kind to use the reason why i've got these and i think i bought some more as well in casa art as well um i don't like to use them on their own and just do a piece with just colored pencils because it i just i just don't get on with them and i find it a lot of hard work especially on my hands I find pastel pencils so much easier to use and blend and so on and so forth. However, I've discovered that these are beautiful for creating textures on top of gouache. So rather than just doing a piece just with colored pencils, I can mix them up and mix them with my watercolors and gouache. Again, I don't do a whole lot of watercoloring, but yeah. So I've got them for that purpose. <laughs> 
Um, and I've tr I've picked colours that um, are my favourites that I know of from the pastel pencils. But I've also got a sneaky plan as well. Because there's a lot of the Luminance pencils colours that aren't in the Caran d'Ache um, pastel pencils. So I've picked all the colours that aren't in the set. So therefore it expands my colour chart with all of the colours without being the same product, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, yeah, just pop them aside for the moment. Then I've got this Hannah Mule um, toned, behave, yeah, toned wood colour book. Um, and it is very 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 lightly toned um light gray um it doesn't come in very big sizes i think the biggest size it comes in is a5 i would prefer an a4 or a b5 so hannah mule if you're listening please do a bigger one um but i was watching somebody's video and they say that this is absolutely beautiful to work on with gouache so i thought i'd get a small one and give it a go and of course we get the red ribbon at the bottom as well. Oh, very tight thing at the end. Um, band, which is good. Then, what did I buy this for? Oh, this is the Sminky basically catalog. It basically shows you every color that they do, except for obviously the new ones that they've just released. So I don't think the urban granulation ones will be on there. But this was only like 10 pence and it's basically, yeah, the urban ones aren't on there, but all the other ones are. Um, so it just gives you all the information about them and then obviously the colour charts. Um, obviously this is printed, not handmade. Um, I do have a dot chart from them that, I, again, it's on my list to make the damn video with, um, of all their colours. So it's got all of them, all the information in all the mediums and stuff so i just thought this was a useful little thing for me to have then we've got some more paper from hannah moon this is the uh, agate i gave watercolor and it's um da, 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 natural white paper cold press homogeneous surface texture it's suitable for all kinds of watercolor techniques so it's Argrave fiber and 30% um, cotton. And it's a block as well. This is the A4 size. But let me just show you the different colors with the um, sketchbook so you can see the gray better. Can you see how this is very pale gray compared to the white? So yeah, it's just some new paper on to tray. And then another Hannah Moon. And then is this the last thing in the box? Yeah. And this is the grey book. It's a sketchbook rather than a watercolour um, book. So, yeah. And this is a much darker grey than the grey in there. <laughs> so you really can tell the difference between the tones. Um, but this is just some really nice, smooth, um, ooh, yeah, one thing I don't like about this book, it doesn't lay flat, well, it, it does lay flat, but the pages, unless you really squidge them down, but I don't know, we'll see how we go with that, I mean, it should do, I think it just needs a good squidge, a good squidge, and then, of course, the red ribbon on the bottom um so these pages are 80 pages and 120 gsm so colored sketch paper for indian ink fountain pens and acrylic markers as well as dry media such as color pencils color remains vibrant and non on the non-exorbent surface so really don't use wet, wet media on this one so do I have enough room <laughs> to put the big box up here? Um, so the last box, which is the massive box, um, is from Cass Art. 
Now, these guys had a massive sale anyway, but then they also had an extra 20% off for students and a goodie bag. So, of course, I couldn't resist. So, oh, I think I'm going to put this at the side and then just pull things out because there's just so much. Okay, so this one first. What is... Oh, I think this is the goodie bag, actually. Oh, no. Oh, goodie bag in something else. So I've got a bright pink goodie bag. We'll, I'll save that till last. We'll look at that last. So you got that free because I'd spent over £60. Pounds. Um, but then the other thing that I've got is this Co Co Conta Paris um, pastel pencil set um it's set of 48 um i don't like the noise i'm getting to me it sounds very broken and i can see all lead here as well so that's making me a little bit scared to open this um but yeah it's the full set of the Conte paris things i don't want to open that yet let's just move on for now <laughs> That's quite frightening. Um, then in this cardboard box we have got... <gasps> yes! We have got the Derwent Pastel Pencils, the full set of 72. Because again, sale. So look at these beauties. These haven't moved. There's no rattling around with these ones. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just got the um, tin. I did because I didn't see the point of paying extra for the wood box. Um, plus, I'll probably end up putting these inside my wooden pastel drawers anyway. So, again, I'll be doing a separate video on each of the pastel sets that I've got, um, including the Conte Paris ones um if they're okay <laughs> so I'll pop them up there then what we got next oops more paper ah spoiler alert for something coming up i've got a oil pastel pad because hopefully the oil pastels are in the box as well something i've never tried but i just wanted to give a go because i really do like soft pastels and pastel pencils so I wanted to try the oil version. I've never worked with oils at all. So that will be completely new for me. The other thing is this pastel ampersand board. Um, you can hear how textured it is already. This is just eight by 10. I just wanted to get one to try. So it really does not flex at all. Really hard board. I've got some clay board um that i quite enjoy but i just wanted to try these with pastels um because i tend to use pastel map which i really love um but i just wanted something more rigid so decided to give that a go oh i know what this is so then the next thing that i got it's another luxury item. Such. <sighs> this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, this is a wood box worth getting, but just look how nice those pencils are all laid out. Very impressed by these. I do love the Caran d'Ache pastel pencils. And these are the ones that I own. But I said, do you know what? It's a sale. I've got extra discount. Fuck it. Let's buy the whole set. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so I, I love this so much already because I know how much I love these pencils, the weight of them, the feel of them. Um, but again, I'll be doing a separate video on these. We are not done. There is still more. More, more, more. Ooh. Okay, so these are the oil pastels that I was telling you about. 
Um, I just got the test pack to see how I get on with them, plus a nice free tin with them. Um, so you get six colours, which is basically the primaries and a couple of secondaries, and then of course black and white. These are by Sennelier, the same brand as the paper, so they should go hand in hand, hopefully. Um, then, of course, I needed some brushes. We always need brushes. But I really like these um, Princeton Velvet Touch ones. I tend to use these for um, my gouache work and ink. So, yeah. And for some reason, these are exclusive to Cass Art. I don't know why. Perhaps they don't normally sell them. Um, but, yep, they're on sale, so I grabbed a few of them. Okay, we're now last down to the last two items. Ah yes. So I've got fixative to replace the one I've run out for soft pastels and then because I'm using oil pastels I've got the oil one as well just to see how well that one works as well so these are useful tools that we need and then in the last little box I bought a whole bunch of luminance <laughs> um, these ones are definitely the colours that are not in the pastel set or in their museum aquarelle set. So these are all separate ones. Um, so let's just quickly go over them. So we've got a brown ochre 10%, brown ochre, uh, grass green, uh, magnesium violet, Crimson Al Alzerian hue, violet brown, purplish red, apricot, burnt sienna 10%, um, burnt orca 50%, French grey 10%, um, permanent red, sepia 50%, um, raw umber 10% and then raw umber 50% uh, dark indigo Payne's grey 30% and green orca and finally brown orca 50% so these might be similar to what's in the pastel pencils or they might be the same just under different names I don't know that's why I've got them to find out and also just to see if I can expand my tonal range and colour range with what I've already got as well so yeah quite a few pastel pencil uh, luminance pencils for a girl that does not do coloured pencils <laughs> but yeah so that is the whale <laughs> of a um, art supply haul um, so much stuff but yeah, um, oh, the goodie bag, the goodie bag, the goodie bag. I was just about to end it then. I was like, no, we've not seen what's in the goodie bag. So we got this for free. So we've got this mag uh, magenta um, coloured bag. And then let's pull out. It'd be funny if they give me stuff that I've bought myself as well. Because they only show you like a little picture. They don't actually show you what's entirely in the thing. But they give you a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see. Oh. Oh, there's more, there's more. Okay, so that's all that's in the bag. So we've got some system-free ultramarine acrylic. Then some system-free acrylic as well. But this one's cadmium yellow deep. But why is it white in that one's... Oh, it's heavy body. Um, then they've also given us some Liquitex um 
heavy body acrylic as well, which I do sometimes use, but I tend to um, water it down with a flow aid. So it's more like the acrylic wash and it also takes the shine off it a little bit as well. So they've given us fluorescent orange. <laughs> Good God. And iridescent black. Interesting. And they've given us a Jelly Roll Moonlight Fine. Um, I think this is the gold colour. And then some Emmet, Uniball Emmet um, Fine Pens in like a purple and green colour. And they've given us a Lyra Graphic 2B. Then a Faber Castell um, eraser, no PVC and should be no dust as well. It's that green coloured one, if it can show you. Yeah, on the edge there. Green coloured. Then we've got a System Free Fluid Acrylic Cadmium Red Hue. So quite a few acrylics in this. And then a booklet about uni pen. And then they've given us a Fabriano sketchbook, just the A5 with round corners. Then we've got the Derwin Classic, <laughs> always. Um, Derwin um, Graphic Fine B, then a Inktense pencil and a Tinted Charcoal. So three different types of pencils in that pack. Um, and then a Claire Fontaine Graphic 909 sketch 41 lab oh this is strange so they've just like stapled it at the top mm, I've seen these before but it feels like printer paper though although it doesn't mm, interesting interesting so <laughs> yes that is all the goodies that I've bought and got for free. Um, so yeah, this is an absolute whale of, <laughs> my last one was a mammoth, this one's a whale. Oh boy. But, you know, 14 months is a long time <laughs> not to buy anything. I don't think I'll be buying anything again, definitely not for 14 months. Um, so yeah, this is a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And uh, please leave me a comment below if you do want me to do any uh, videos separately on each of these items. Um, I have already, I've already got a lot of plans for different things already, but please feel free to tell me again. Um, and I'll try and get them done as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye for now.